evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Light Flyweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, the President, Jose Suleiman, the supervisor in the ring at this time, Haig Collegian. Along with the California State Athletic Commission, the Chairman, Commissioner Jerry Nathanson, the commissioners in attendance, Dr. Pompeo Montemayor, Raul Silva, Charles Westland, the Assistant Executive Officer at ringside, Steve English, the Assistant Chief Inspector, Dale Ashley. Now presenting to you the officials as appointed, judging at ringside from Sacramento, California, Henry Ellis Peru. From Chatsworth, California, Dick Young. And from Aruba, Harry Cruz. And our referee in charge of our main event, Marty Salmon. All right, fans, here we go. This is it, the main event of the evening. 12 rounds for the WBC Light Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first on my right, the challenger fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing white trunks with green trim, hailing from Lugtong, Talisay City, Cebu in the Philippines. His weight this evening is 108 pounds. His record, 24 victories, five losses, eight wins by way of knockout. He's ranked the number four contender by the WBC. Introducing Rolando Jojo Pasqua. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, is the defending champion. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim and hailing from Nitsa, Mexico. His weight this evening, 107 and three quarter pounds. His outstanding record, 29 victories, no defeats, 23 wins by way of knockout. He is the WBC light flyweight champion of the world, known as El Pequeño Gigante de Nitsa, the undefeated. Humberto Chiquita Gonzalez. Referee in charge now to give instructions. Marty Salmon, 12 rounds of championship boxing. Okay, gentlemen, pelea limpio, buena suerte. Fight clean and good luck. Quick look at the uh, tail of the tape between the two fighters. Uh, Pasqua a little taller, a little heavier. A little older, and the reach just about the same. Keep in mind, Gonzalez only 5'1", but he packs a lot of power into that diminutive frame. I'll tell you something. They couldn't have picked a better name, the little giant, because this guy can pack up on. All right, here we go. A round one scheduled for 12. The WBC light flyweight title owned by Gonzalez on the line. And Gonzalez immediately gets in a right. And we're talking about that rarity of two southpaws. Here Gonzalez started out as a southpaw and I went to the orthodox style. Now Pasco will try to stay on the outside and use the jab to keep uh, Chiquita off him. Can he do that, do you suppose? Well, he's got to use it because Chiquita, as we said, is devastating not only on the inside, but he throws those overhand rights from the outside and lefts that can, can be very de devastating himself. So pasco has got his job cut out for him, and like I said earlier, he's, he's been known to take one heck of a shot. So... We'll right, see what happens. Right hand got in by Gonzalez. Gonzalez wearing black. Pasqua in white, trimmed with green. Pasqua's not afraid to mix it up, but he prefers to stay on the outside and to use combinations like that to keep Gonzalez off him. Well, he hit uh, Chiquita with a good straight left hand. He used that right hand to paw out there, and I see he just landed a good jab. Now he's got to throw that jab and keep Chiquita off of him. Keep him on the end of that jab. It's very, very important with a guy of as many knockouts as Gonzalez. Pasqua started boxing at the age of 20. Won his first 14 fights before losing. Kind of a controversial decision. Uh, his first one, uh, losing to the Korean uh, Jumwon Choi. Made him fight orthodox in that one. The promoter didn't know he was a lefty, found out, and said, hey, you're going to box right-hander or you don't get paid. <laughs> he did. He lost. But now, tonight, his big opportunity. Very confident. 
coming into this fight, been training for three months. He's had a fight since July, preparing for Gonzalez. I'll tell you what, he's landed some tremendous yep. shots to the chin of Chiquita. And I've, no I've noticed another thing, Chiquita's winging punches. It's not the same fighter that we saw at last, uh, his last title defense. He's throwing punches from right and left field. A lot of pressure on Gonzalez to uh, knock out opponents now. I talked to him earlier today. Uh, he was named uh, the most destructive hitter in all of boxing by KO Magazine over... Uh, Big hitters like Michael Moore and Mike Tyson, Nigel Benn. And so uh, he feels that pressure to put on the impressive show and be exciting. Well, you know, he's got a, a heck of a following from Mexico, and it, I guess it would put a lot of pressure because, you know, you've got to, you want to please your fans and your families and whatnot. And he does have a lot of pressure. I mean, uh, the same with Julio Cesar Chavez, undefeated 71 fight. So everything, if you notice, everything that lands of Chiquita, the crowd will roar. We have predominantly Mexican nationals here, so. Time winding down. I think you'd have to say a very good round for Rolando Pasco. He's, he's getting in some good shots of his own. More boxing on the Prime Network. After this, stay with us. Light flyweight title held by Humberto Gonzalez. He's in black. The challenger, Rolando Pasqua, off a good first round, Ruben. I was able know. to establish his jab and uh, and made uh, Gonzalez a little wary about coming in. I tell you what, I don't know how you scored this fight or how you who you thought won the fight. I gave this one to Pasqua, 10-9 round, and I think you people out there watching, you're going to have a good fight to, to score here. Everybody predicts knockout at the opening part you of the show. You did, though. I did not. I said it might be a 12-rounder. We'll see what happens. Gonzalez, known as Chiquita, that means the little one. Interestingly, his idol, uh, the former great Capino Cuevas. Been like a big brother to him, uh, giving him advice. He liked the way that Cuevas used to fight, the exciting style. I tell you what, he's, he throws punches like Capino. I mean, he's got the same type of style, but then again, as we said earlier, the Ruben Oliveira's uh, look alike, so we'll see what happens. Pasqua trying to stay on the outside and box. Make Gonzalez move. And Gonzalez missing with some wild swings early here. Round two. Big crowd on hand here at the Great Western Forum. Thinking that uh, Chiquita Gonzalez might be one of the great draws. Uh, certainly in Southern California and all over the United States. Light flyweight that can punch. He's doing a remarkable job, this Pasco, from keeping uh, Chiquita off, off of him. And Gonzalez starting to land the right. There it is again to the ear of Pasqua. Once again, the crowd roaring on every Gonzalez punch. Round two action. Bosca, who has won his last two bouts at TKO in the third round of Ernie Julia. That was on April 27th. Then he got a decision over Jimmy Bongott. And good exchange by both fighters. Gonzalez looking to load up, get the one big punch in there. Yes, I think he is. I think he's uh, starting to fill out his, uh, his opponent, but as I said earlier, Fosco's got a, a cast iron chin, so it's not going to be an easy job. Oh, look at that. Good Fosco getting in his punch, getting his punches, getting off very quickly. Ten seconds to go, round two. The WBC light flyweight uh, title. And we'll be back with more after this. Western Forum Budweiser Championship Boxing continues round three. The undefeated uh, WBC light flyweight uh, champion, Humberto Gonzalez in black, Rolando Pasqua in white, and so far it's been a very action-oriented uh, first couple of rounds. Pasqua giving a good account of himself. Now he's hitting Chiquita with some good shots. Chris, he's, he's unloading and he's uh, counter-punching very well. A good puncher likes to stay on the outside is how they bill it. And he's done just that. Another miss by Gonzalez, who seems to be uh, off balance some of the time. Gonzalez very rarely takes a step backward, if you're wondering. I think he's a little frustrated with the style of Pasqua. He's getting his shots in and getting out. And 
Chiquita's been used to fighting to, uh, the type of fighters that have come right at you and, and they're taking them out. And of course, another thing too, Chris, that Chiquita fought with a broken hand or a very damaged hand, his last fight. I wonder if that's, uh, if that's so tonight. Well, that was certainly a big question. He went nine rounds in his last fight and he got criticized because he didn't knock him out. He just got nailed on the chin with a left hand by Pasqua. Gonzalez trying to go to the body. You know, Pasqua's not considered a power puncher. He's only got eight knockouts and 24 wins. Uh, so if he had any kind of knockout record, I think he would um, he would have put uh, Gonzalez on the ground. I had a chance to chat with him at the weigh-in today, and he said he's not looking for the knockout. He wants to win a decision. That's his game plan. He is under no illusion that he can knock Gonzalez out. But if he continues to score as he is... He's doing a remarkable job scoring punches. Unbelievable. Very quiet crowd here in the Great Western Forum. They are quiet. The majority uh, Mexican fans or uh, fans for Chiquita Gonzalez. Pasqua, two, three punches in a row. Oh, this this place would come down if he ever set Chiquita, send him to the canvas. They you would, they you got the tarp down. to cover us, don't you, That's Ruben? right. I brought it just in case, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Round three, scheduled for 12. Long way to go, perhaps. As uh, Rolando Pasqua, Beto Gonzalez. Another punch by Pasqua got in. Gonzalez said... Uh, Trying to work to the body to get the jab out of his face. That's Lee moving in. I see some blood on the face of Chiquita. I don't know if it is from... Uh... Wow. Exchange. Pasqua got in a solid left. And then Gonzalez responding with a right. And action after the bell. Oh, my. Three very good rounds so far, and I think uh, everybody very surprised with the abilities of Rolando Pasqua, maybe even Alberto Gonzalez. I think you're absolutely right. The people are, were very quiet throughout the round, and the only time they will respond is if Chiquita Gonzalez lands some shots, and he hasn't done he hasn't done any of that thus far. He's landed some good shots, Chris, but Pasqua has been taking the fight to him outboxing him and just and just doing a, a good boxing lesson here's the end of that last round chris here chiquita lands a, a right hand but watch how possible comes back throws a body shot there's a couple of shots to the head and that was after the bell as we look at one of the greats the former wbc welterweight champion the great one don't drink the water Carlos King, Palomino. King Carlos Palomino. All right. We are ready. Round four. And Ruben, uh, that's a much better fight. Oh, Pasqua, ready to mix it up. He just nailed Chiquita with a tremendous left hand. And they're slugging it out. This is something we did not expect to see. Pasqua shouldn't do this. this I, think, I think it's going to be a big mistake on his part. Oh, what and he's a... caught with a right from Gonzalez. Pasqua got the right in. There it is again. And a trickle of blood coming from the nose of Rolando Pasqua. He was doing such a remarkable job out boxing Chiquita Gonzalez. Now he's going he's gonna to exchange punches with him. Oh, there's an awful cut over the left eye. And Unreal. Uh, Gonzalez is cut over the left oh, eye. This could end. This, they could end this fight right now. The referee is Marty Salmon. And uh, we might have the same situation that occurred a little earlier. And the referee saying, I did not see the butt. The doctor attending to him, Bernard uh, Schwartz. Oh, what a shame okay. this would be. Well, Dr. Schwartz may let this continue. Uh, he says he's okay. I think that's an ugly gash. That could What's be the, the deciding factor on something like that, Ruben, if in your estimation? If they let the fight continue. They do. They, they cannot stop it now. And here we go. Round four. For the WBC lightweight title, Gonzalez now putting on pressure. Oh, good shot. And Gonzalez perhaps got a little, oh, big left by Gonzalez. I'm telling you, Pasqua should have never taken this fight plan. He was doing a remarkable job on oh, some good shots. And Gonzalez with a right and a left. Perhaps tasting his own blood, and this has raised his level. You can see the look on his face. 
Over half of round four remaining. Unbelievable. Cannot believe Bosco chose to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy like him. And Pasqua still punching effectively, but getting, uh, taking a little more than he's giving. Oh, that, that cut is awfully bad, Chris. Oh, good shot. And Pasqua may have been staggered by the right. Once again, up Gonzalez. Knocked him back off his feet for just a moment. The fans are on their feet as Chiquita lands each and every punch. They're going right along with the punches. Gonzalez has had trouble getting fights. No one wants to fight him. But uh, Pasqua has come prepared and is giving him a, a tremendous battle. Round four. <laughs> to think we have eight rounds to go after this. I don't think this one's going to go in. Do you think, Ruben? Well, now after that cut, I don't know. I know one person they need in that corner awfully bad. They need to stop this blood real bad. Well, we'll see. Uh, at the end of this round, the... Uh, they need Norman Lockwood. Norman Lockwood's one of the best cut men in the world. Under a half a minute to go. Action slowed down just a bit. Fighters might be a little uh, tired from that furious pace. I, ca I still can't believe that Pasqua chose to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with And Pasqua Chiquita. looks all right right now. Yeah, he does. He's got to get back to that same fight plan that he had before, Chris. Good point. Stay on the outside and box with him. Absolutely. Stick that jab out there and use your reach that he's got against Chiquita. Ten seconds to go. And Gonzalez working the body hard now. We'll see what... Uh, the corner people of uh, oh, Gonzalez can do. In the corner for Humberto Gonzalez, Justo Sanchez, Francisco Chan Sanchez, and they will work on the eye of Gonzalez. Let's see what they're saying. Vamos a boxearle de zurdo para que no me reciba. He says that we're going to box him left handed so you don't receive the right hand. Here's where we think uh, the bump occurred. Right there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And now action a little later in round number four. Oh, yes. 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 Never been off his feet, and he's got a big challenge going here, though. Yeah. As we set sail into round five. Ruben, you're scoring. You I've, got, I've got this fight score 38-38, dead even. It's going to be a, a really tough fight to score unless it's going to be a knockout. Both these guys have been going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I'm really surprised, as, as I said. Pasco's doing such a remarkable job of boxing. Goes toe-to-toe -to -toe and get hurt, gets hurt a couple of different occasions, though. Once again, for identification purposes, Rolando Pasqua out of the Philippines in white. Humberto Gonzalez from Mexico in the black. I'm Chris Marlowe along with Ruben Castillo. Glad you're with us here on the Prime Network as the coverage of Budweiser Championship Boxing continues. Ooh. I'll tell you what, after this fight, these both of these young fighters deserve to have the biggest Budweiser in the house. That's a cool one. Very ice cold one. Left got in from Gonzalez. Combination. I think now, what you're going to see now is where Chiquita just wears down his opponent. Just like the great Julio Cesar Chavez. He's just going to wear him down in the latter rounds and eventually take him out. But unless he's got, uh, Pasqua has that cast iron chin that we were talking about earlier. Gonzalez, who got interested in boxing uh, by watching uh, fights on TV. Doesn't waste his time finding the range. He just gets in there and fires away. And Pasqua, content to stay on the inside. The straight oh. not quite uh, thrilled about Ruben. No, he got nailed with a shot, but he came back with two of his own. Uh-oh, look at this. Good punches now being delivered by Pasqua. And he is certainly not afraid of the mystique of Chiquita. I tell you what, he throws those combinations very, very good. That's what he's got to do. He's got to stick and move. He's got to throw his combinations and get out. If you're Pasqua now, do you work on the eye? It seems he is with the right, uh, right jab. Absolutely. You want to work on the inside, just like he's doing out, but get out. Don't wait around for Chiquita to throw his bar. Right. Get in slug and get out. Exactly. Just like he's doing right there. He's doing a good job now. He needs to go back to that fight plan right there. Stay with it. 
Boy, that cut is really bad. And it's in a very bad spot. Now it's starting to swell. And uh, Pasqua taking every advantage to advance the opening. Well, Chiquita's corner told him to fight left-handed. Not doing it. No, he's not. And he's subjecting himself as the blood uh, pouring down his uh, face. Subjecting himself to the left, make that the right jab of Pasqua. Left hand caught Pasqua coming in. Oh, there's another headbutt right there by Pasqua. Right on the cut. Okay, we'll come back to the forum. Round six coming up. Stay with us. Ruben Castillo, we head into round six for the WBC light flyweight title. Rolando Pasqua and Humberto Gonzalez. And Axe, Pasqua caught Gonzalez with a stiff right, and Gonzalez going to the body of Pasqua with a left lead. Both fighters giving and taking. <laughs> oh my. This, this Pasqua's got, he's, he's got a lot of, a lot of, um, well, we won't even discuss that, but <laughs> he's got a lot of heart, I'm telling you. He's making his Great Western Forum debut tonight, and so far it has been very, very impressive, and Gonzalez, man, they may have hit heads once again. People chanting now, Mexico, Mexico. They want, they want Chiquita to come on now. And once again, Pasqua content to stay on the inside and uh, exchange. Well, you know, now that I'm, I'm starting to think now, that the reason he wants to do that, Chris, is because yeah. that cut. Yeah, kind of burrow in there. I think that'd be the only reason. I think it's, like I said, it's crazy because he did, did a remarkable job on boxing, but he's, whatever works, do it, you know. Of course, stamina in condition in a 12-round fight as Pasqua lands another right and another oh, good combination. Was, that was right on the cut. And Pasqua getting in his punches now. Oh, Gonzalez wow. might be a little stunned off that one. He's landing at will to Chiquita. This is not the same Chiquita <laughs> unless he can turn it all, all around with one shot. Which he has been known to do. Absolutely. Round six. Under a minute to go. Oh, that eye is off. Off. Good body shot. Oh, and buckle Chiquita. He's hurt, Chris. Gun Chiquita. Oh, he's going down. Rolando Pasqua. Unbelievable. And that may be That's all. it. It's over. It's over. Rolando Pasqua is the new WBC lightweight. Light flyweight champion. Unbelievable. The people are stunned, Chris. Pasqua from the Philippines. And down for the first time in his career, Humberto Gonzalez. Let's hope he's not hurt. What an upset. Unbelievable. He's back up. He's, a, he's doing fine now. I bet you he's stunned just like the crowd. Rolando Pasqua. Not much was known about him. Under the tutelage of Ben Del Delgado and Ruben Gomez. Tina Tiglau and they are dancing in the aisles back in the Philippines right now. He was born in Cebu, Philippines. And uh, what a night for him. Unbelievable, Chris, with a record of 24 wins, five losses, eight knockouts. And fighting a guy with as a magnitude, the magnitude of a guy like this, had never been down before in his life, and he gets lost, he gets knocked out, and loses his title. Here's a body shot. That was right on the cut, the right hook. That's the shot that hurt him, that left hand, right on the button. And Chiquita with another taking the left. And Pasqua putting together a mean Unbelievable. combination. Unbelievable. Here's another look at it, Chris. Watch, you'll see this right hook hit Chiquita right on the eye. There it is. Another one right on the eye. Unbelievable. Nobody expected this. You know, initially, the uh, the cut seemed to inspire Gonzalez, but uh, 
maybe it took a little something a out of him after that. Uh, well, Ruben. I think I think you could be right, and he probably probably had problems seeing through that eye. So a big upset here at the Great Western Forum. Uh, a new WBC light playweight uh, champion. We'll continue with fight night at the Forum after this. Western Forum, Inglewood, California. Budweiser Championship Boxing continues. We have a new champion for the official decision. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 24 seconds in round number six. The winner by way of knockout, the new WBC light flyweight champion of the world, Rolando Jojo Pascua. Nobody expected it. Even he did not. He said, I'm going to win by a decision. He came in a very confident fighter. He had not had a fight since July, four months training and preparing for Umberto Gonzalez. And was he prepared? He certainly was. He came out right in round one and showed uh, Chiquita that he meant business, that he was not afraid to mix it up and get in with the best in the business. So Rolando Pasqua is now the WBC light flyweight champion at the age of 25. Let's go to Ruben. Thank you, Chris. You're going to have to ask him for us. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be the biggest upset in, the, in one of the boxing histories because Chiquita Gonzalez, 29-0, 23 knockouts. You've got to ask Orlando, did he expect to win by knockout with only having eight knockouts on his record? I think he by knockout. Huh? I he knew that he, he was going to win by knockout. Nobody expected it. When, when, when did you have him hurt? When did you think you were going to knock him out? Three rounds. Third round. He knew. He had him hurt in the third round. Three rounds, yeah. Did he ever hurt him at any time? No. No, he said no. Okay, listen, I've got, I've got a show. I want to show you the, the knockout or the knockdown, and I want you to tell us what's going on. Right there. Right? Uh, yeah. And then, oh, and we got left uppercut, cross, and right again, and left again, straight, and right. Just like the Buster Tyson fight, right? <laughs> that was got, that's got to be the biggest One, two, three, knockout. And, and this is this has never been this has never happened to Chiquita Gonzalez. He has never been down in his career, and now you just took the the light flyaway title from him. So so what do you feel now? I don't I don't feel anyone. Masaya. Wait, wait, okay, let me ask him a question. Why don't you ask him if he wants to fight a rematch with Chiquita? Yes. Anytime. When? Anytime. 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 Yeah. Well, congratulations to you. It was a tremendous victory, and we'll hope to see you back here at the thank Great you, Western you, Forum. Let's go back to ringside to Chris. All right, thank you very much, Ruben Castillo. And uh... of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Light Flyweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, the President, Jose Suleiman, the supervisor in the ring at this time, Haig Collegian. Along with the California State Athletic Commission, the Chairman, Commissioner Jerry Nathanson, the commissioners in attendance, Dr. Pompeo Montemayor, Raul Silva, Charles Westland, the assistant executive officer at ringside, Steve English, the assistant chief inspector, Dale Ashley. Now I'm presenting to you the officials as appointed, judging at ringside from Sacramento, California, Henry Ellis Peru. From Chatsworth, California, Dick Young. And from Aruba, Harry Cruz. And our referee in charge of our main event, Marty Salmon. All right, fans, here we go. This is it, the main event of the evening. 12 rounds for the WBC Light Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first on my right, the challenger fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing white trunks with green trim, hailing from Lugtong, Talisay City, Cebu in the Philippines. His weight this evening is 108 pounds. 
His record, 24 victories, five losses, eight wins by way of knockout. He's ranked the number four contender by the WBC. Introducing Rolando Jojo Pasqua. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, is the defending champion. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim and hailing from Neza, Mexico. His weight this evening, 107 and three quarter pounds. His outstanding record, 29 victories, no defeats. 23 wins by way of knockout. He is the WBC light flyweight champion of the world, known as El Pequeño Gigante de Neza, the undefeated Humberto Chiquita Gonzalez. <laughs> Referee in charge now to give instructions, Marty Salmon, 12 rounds of championship boxing. Okay, gentlemen, pelea limpio, buena suerte. Fight clean and good luck. Quick look at the uh, tail of the tape between the two fighters. Uh, Pasqua a little taller, a little heavier, a little older, and the reach just about the same. Keep in mind, Gonzalez only 5-1, but he packs a lot of power into that diminutive frame. I'll tell you something, they couldn't have picked a better name, the little giant, because this guy can pack up on. All right, here we go. A round one scheduled for 12. The WBC light flyweight title owned by Gonzalez on the line. And Gonzalez immediately gets in a right. And we're talking about that rarity of two southpaws. 